Hello everyone, this is Chaitali Bagh, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe, reporting live at Indy Airport 2022. And I am sitting right now with Mr. Saurav Sanyal, who's a managing partner with Strategica, as well as he is the chairman with Ireland India Business Association, yes, IIBA, something that we would like to more know more from Mr. Sanyal. Welcome to our chat room, Mr. Sanyal. Thank you so much for your time. So, uh, Mr. Sanyal, we would like to know what is this Ireland India Business Association? What does it do? Uh, thanks, Chaitali. Thanks for having me. So the Ireland India Business Association is a trade association based out of Ireland. It was formed uh, more than a decade ago and essentially uh, looks at supporting uh, companies from Ireland who are looking to invest in India and grow their business in India, develop their business in India, as well as supporting Indian companies which are looking to grow into Europe uh, in general but Ireland in particular. So our members um, in uh, Ireland include some very large Indian technology companies like TCS, uh, as well as several Irish uh, companies like uh, the Bank of Ireland. Um, we uh, have just in fact formed the IIBA in India. Uh, India is of course now the fastest growing country in the world and there was an increased, rec increased recognition that uh, Irish companies wanted to come and invest in India uh, and uh, increasingly Indian companies are looking to invest in Ireland to grow uh, in Europe. Uh, so um, which is why we've just formed the IIBA and looking forward to welcoming any Indian companies who would be interested in Ireland to reach out to us as well as any Irish or global companies who are looking at India uh, so that we can help them support and grow in India. Going on the same lines as you said, yes, uh, Ireland companies, Irish companies are interested to invest in India. Now, with this Atmanirbhar Bharat initiative, Making India initiative, how is it uh, becoming easier or difficult for these Irish, uh, the Irish companies to come and establish and set up here? So, Irish companies have, uh, you know, increasingly uh, seen India as a major market for a number of sectors. Um, already. A uh, number of universities, Irish universities are looking at India as a big market uh, and looking at collaborating with Indian universities. Uh, we are already uh, talking, a number of Irish universities are already in talks with Indian universities. Uh, in the uh, healthcare sector, again, there's a number of uh, initiatives to collaborate. Uh, as you would know, um, uh, uh, aviation in Ireland is a very big industry. 55% uh, uh, of the world's aircrafts are leased out of Ireland and therefore there's a lot of space to collaborate between India and Ireland uh, in some of these sectors. Um, which is why I think uh, as India uh, opens up post-COVID, uh, there's a renewed energy uh, within both the Irish community, uh, business community to look at India as a future market. Uh, I mean, uh, Ireland had uh, traditionally looked at a number of other markets like China, uh, but increasingly as uh, with global geopolitics, there has been uh, a renewed interest in uh, India and how to engage with India. Now, even the European Union, as you know, India is uh, negotiating a free trade agreement uh, with the European Union. That itself will bring a lot of momentum to European businesses uh, looking at India, uh, but also Irish businesses uh, looking at India. Uh, uh, similarly, a lot of Indian startups are now uh, investing overseas. Um, so we are looking at a number of opportunities for Indian uh, uh, startups, whether it be in technology uh, or healthcare, uh, to look at setting up a business in Ireland. And again, I uh, would like to welcome any uh, companies in India who are looking to invest in Ireland to reach out to us and we'd be happy to support them. Right. My next question comes to why IIBA at aviation sector at uh, India Airport 2022? What exactly are you looking forward from this show? So IIBA would uh, obviously, uh, given how uh, big the aviation sector, aviation finance, the aviation leasing sector is in Ireland, we want to reach out to Indian industry, tell them more about uh, Ireland and tell them more about uh, companies in Ireland who uh, have very specific uh, um, uh, you know, capabilities uh, around issues like sustainability, 
around issues uh, like airport sustainability, uh, leasing, uh, and we therefore want to work with uh, companies in India to uh, grow their business, uh, Irish companies' businesses in India. Uh, similarly, again, uh, we also want to uh, reach out to Indian businesses who might be interested in exporting to Ireland, uh, collaborating with Irish uh, companies, uh, entering into joint ventures. Um, I think, uh, like I said, again, uh, with uh, the uh, European Union, FTA and the negotiation, I think over the next few years, uh, and with India taking on the G20 uh, presidency, there is a renewed interest in uh, India and its market. And uh, we hope uh, to uh, be the focal point for uh, any collaborations between India and Ireland. Right. So would you like to tell us more about the aviation sector in Ireland which will be interested in India or Indian um, companies will be interested, interested to uh, work with the aviation sector for in Ireland? So a number of uh, Indian uh, companies are already working. Uh, a number of aircrafts in India are currently leased out of Ireland. A uh, number of ancillary services uh, out of India, be it some of the seats being bought by airlines in India or uh, some of the software uh, being used by air aviation uh, companies in India are actually built and run out of Ireland. Um, we therefore feel that uh, this is an opportune moment uh, as we've heard today. Um, there are a number of greenfield airports coming up. Uh, there's the new airport coming up in Noida. There's the new airport coming up in Mumbai. And under the Uran scheme, there's a huge government push uh, to grow aviation. So and, and then there is a this huge um, you know opportunity around MRO, which has opened up. So Ireland has a strong MRO industry, uh, strong engineering capabilities, uh, and uh, we feel that uh, we can uh, collaborate closely with Indian companies uh, to leverage the growth that we expect uh, from the Indian market over the next 10, 10 20 years. Right. We see a great presence of German companies out here. So do we expect next year or the coming years the Irish companies will equally participate in, in an expo like this? Uh, Irish companies certainly will uh, look forward to engaging more with uh, Indian companies and expos like this definitely help them uh, meet the stakeholders uh, and put forward some of their uh, you know, services and capabilities. So yes, I'm definitely IIB looks forward to engaging with all stakeholders in aviation uh, to help uh, Irish SMEs uh, leverage the opportunity here. And hopefully we'll also be uh, uh, um, participating in similar uh, uh, you know, uh, events uh, in Ireland uh, to support uh, Indian companies who are looking to leverage uh, the growth uh, in Europe through Ireland. Now, uh, if we talk about the ease of business that we were talking in the sessions which happened earlier, uh, how do you feel about the ease of business that the Irish companies will have in India and vice versa, the Indian companies who will, have, will try to do business with Ireland? So Ireland is uh, well known uh, to have one of the, uh, to be one of the easiest places to do business. It's uh, very frictionless, uh, the government is extremely supportive uh, of uh, global investors. Uh, which is why it has seen a lot of top global companies investing into Ireland. I mean, from the Google to the Apples of the world who've grown their presence significantly there. Uh, therefore, Indian um, companies would do well to uh, look at Ireland as a potential uh, place to grow their European business. Uh, similarly, uh, India is going to be the fastest growing economy in the world for the next several years. Um, and. Uh, I'm sure there will be significant opportunities for Irish companies, not just in aviation, but across a number of sectors, be it technology, healthcare, or education, uh, to grow their businesses uh, and, and invest in India. Right. Thank you so much, Mr. Sanil. It was great knowing about the association, knowing about the insights that you are uh, building the cooperation between India and Irish businesses. And we really look forward to meeting you, to meet you in similar platforms and various other parts of the world as well. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Chitali. Thank you for having us.